it still happens if, even if we don't plan for it. Are you prepared for your exit? Dalai Lama said, aging destroys youth, sickness destroys health, degeneration of life destroys all excellent qualities and death destroys life. Even if you're a great runner, you cannot run away from death. You cannot stop death with your wealth, through your magic performances or recitation of mantras or even medicines. Therefore, it is wise to prepare for your death. Like it or not, we'll all die. But those who have made peace with life and who have made clear plans for death find the end of life may be transformed into powerful times unlike any other. Preparations prevent suffering and create opportunities for peace, closure, and even healings. Have you fulfilled your life's purpose? What legacy would you be leaving behind? Have you made peace with those you've wronged and those who wronged you? These and many more are questions we must constantly ask ourselves. Transition to afterlife doesn't have to be a taboo we should not talk about if we all leave prepared for our last days here on Mother Earth. Hmm. Yeah, well, you know, the, the thing is, um, I think you kind of need um, to have some sort of belief in the afterlife for you to really be concerned about preparing for your death. Um, you know, I, I look at, I, when I look at a lot of these, the way our politicians behave, I really believe they think that this is the only life. This is, and this is the end. And so therefore, we're going to just grab every single thing we can grab. All of you people are thinking there's something better after this life. That's your own business. We're going we're gonna to take everything we can. So I think you need to believe in, you, you've got to have that sort of belief in an afterlife or that there is something better. And, and in order to attain it, then you have to prepare for it. Otherwise, most people are living, they're doing YOLO, you know, living for the moment. And, and that's, that's pretty much what it is, you know. And, and sometimes, even those of us that do believe in the afterlife, things can get to a point where you sort of say to yourself, you know what, this afterlife, man, I, I don't have any real concrete proof. <laughs> Let me just chill out small. Let me yeah, just yeah, focus on what I can see, you know? Because life can be so, it, it can just be coming at you at every corner and, and you just kind of think to yourself, you know what, it's too much stress to be preparing for this afterlife. Let me just prepare for today. Let me eat for today. And that's why you see a lot of people are prepared to do whatever it takes to just survive for today. So I think, yeah, there, there must be that belief in the afterlife to even motivate you to sort of plan or ahead like that. Is it possible that we're also in denial or we just don't, you know, it does not occur to us that death can come anytime. Yeah, the denial aspect is yeah, there. You yeah. know, it's there. Mm -hmm. Not because um, we don't believe there's an afterlife mm -hmm. or, or what we need probably Never is just that jolt. You're you know, not just remember that all that could be to tomorrow. Yeah. It yeah. could be you next. Yeah, but they're you know? spending more time trying to live so they're not thinking about d dying per se, if you know what I mean. Like, like the man on the street who's trying to feed every day, he's not thinking about preparing for it. He's thinking about how I'm going to live. live. He's not thinking about die. how I'm yes. going to die. Well, I mean, I guess you in know. a way, the way I see it um, is that maybe the more realistic way is to prepare in a way that makes it part of your daily life. Mm. Because sometimes, you know, recently they're having a men's group, they're going to gather together and they want to talk about, you know, leaving your will for your family. Mm -hmm. And they say, well, someone said, oh, you're at 50, you're not too young to leave a will. And I said, what makes you think you couldn't have died at 40 exactly. or even 30? Mm -hmm. But if you, put a, a, if you put a life pattern in place mm -hmm. where, you know, all your joint accounts with yourself and your wife, your, whoever it is that's nearest and dearest to you has access so that if you're not mm -hmm. there, you know, um, that person can access mm -hmm. the accounts. Then mm -hmm. somehow that's part of that pattern. And if you build up your children in such a way, because I know a lady, I think uh, Libros did a, um, an advocacy on mm -hmm. her. You know, she died of cancer, but somehow she had been leaving letters for her children mm -hmm. all through that process. So they were able to read it back and it was almost like she was preparing them to be mm -hmm. independent. Mm -hmm. You know, I think of Nigeria now, you have talked about right. Independence Day. You know, you need to build those you love around you to be independent of you. I've never been a fan of people who build people around them. Yeah, so if they're not there, nobody is indispensable. Mm -hmm. So always create a lifestyle where 
you can be indispensable. You can go away and things will still function because it's one thing them missing you, it's another thing them not being able to function without you. Mm. Um, so I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm in favor of all that. I think bring up your children in such a way that they are learning as they go along to be independent of you. Make sure if, you know, husband and wife, you, you have access to all the accounts. Don't wait till, mm. you know, he's away and then the, the, they start telling stories of the widow who's extended family. <laughs> We're yeah. dealing with Isn't you. That, that will <laughs> thing, the, you know, when I read that, I thought, yeah, the will, because because a lot, it is taboo. A lot of Nigerians don't even want to hear about leaving a will because for them it's like, I remember when my sister told my dad that he needs to consider, you know, doing up a will and he was like, ah, are you oh, thinking I'm me. getting ready to die and all of that, you know? <laughs> I, I, yeah, that, that was, was, you know, but later on he him. understood when he had calmed down yes. and was less emotional, he now understood why she was saying it, you know? Um, most Nigerian families will not do that. And on top of that, we have so many crazy setups with how many wives and how many this and how I many... I don't know, these days, are they not? We don't have figures for it. I, I'm, I'm for those people who do not wills, right? Considering but I think more do that. Yeah, more will do now mm, than now, before, yes, but... Yes. I think be beyond the will, um, I also talked about legacy. How do you want to be remembered? Because yes. this, these are things that will jolt you to, yeah. you know, want to do something positive. Yeah. Would you be remembered by the number of houses you've yeah, built, yeah. accumulated, mm -hmm. or, the, or the wealth mm -hmm. you've, uh, you've acquired? Yeah. You know, so you probably want to be motivated to do <laughs> good. That's possible, though. You know? Yeah, well, I, I, oh, that I don't know. Is, that man that had yeah. that big house, Up and then they now talk about, about, talk about uh, yeah. positive, yeah. Darosa, positive, that positive that like, <laughs> Remember that? Yes, yes, the famous pastor, no. Not so somebody with a big house kind of thing. Yes. There was one man in Jebode like that. Oh. Uh, I can't remember, Kuna or somebody, where every time you pass through Jebode, they ask you, did you see his house on mm. your way to Benin coming from Lagos, the old <laughs> road? And truly, the house was there for you to see. And so the reality is that there, there are people who want to be remembered for that. Mm. <laughs> truly, yeah, I tell absolutely. you. For the world. Yes, I, I yeah. can think of one yeah. who may want to be remembered. No, that's why they quickly set up right all these now. foundations. And yeah. Yeah. that's why I have a problem with people naming foundations after them, their direct name. Mm -hmm. Because I'm like, what is the motivation behind Correct. this? Thing, I think we've had know? this discussion. Yeah. Like, yes, no, I agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. That, that thing really, <laughs> it, it yes. offends me. Yeah. You know, when I see some, like, like, somebody, somebody's foundation. Yes, no, yes, yeah. that means that you're not, you're not doing it for for, for the right. For no, no, you can always. No, you say may, that but you have, but you've gotten into that okay, trap yeah. of. Uh, you, you know when Shaga, right. you know when Shaga <laughs> Degba me came and yes. he said they yeah, he forced him why. to name in his school for legal reasons. Even though I would say that I can't be forced like him, I will resist it. But I have to agree that he there's a chance of being forced into naming things. But I also want to just go. Echo a bit ago, maybe identify what Uche said to somehow deviate a bit from it. Okay. You know, I, I don't think it's possible. I think really, if you're somebody who has a, a, a value for the afterlife, it will reflect in the way you live your life. Yeah, today. absolutely. Um, mm. And and you can actually divorce the two. So mm. um, so I I do agree with Seydou to say, look, we must consider where we're going. You know, you mo so that we can live our lives as a reflection of what we really believe is waiting for us at the end of the road. It's like you know, a child who has to sit an exam. There's a way you prepare, there are things you forego mm -hmm. because you know that there's something more beyond, yeah, that's right, you know, yeah. so you won't go to university. There's some people I knew I met at university, they were partying hard. When the exam came, they went to cram, of course. Whereas some of us were more responsible. <laughs> we like to think, <laughs> we, you know, we put aside the party because we said, yeah. well, we're not here to party so much as we want to get a good grade. Yeah. So that subsequently beyond yeah, university, party. Uh, we'll be the ones having a good time. So mm -hmm. there's a way people, if they value this life as an end, then maybe that's why we're in the situation we are mm -hmm. today yeah. because they, they can't see beyond today's, today's yeah. uh, bread. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But no, I, still, yeah. um, you know, the, the, the death of very big society people has mm -hmm. a way of drilling home what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in, in uh, a couple of weeks ago was Mugabe. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And when you remember that that gentleman ruled with an iron fist for 37 years, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden you, you, you see the man, no he, he has become a buddy mm -hmm. yeah. uh, to be rid of. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something that should remind us of the inevitability of death is the only thing that will go around and i hope that when we think of it it will moderate how we live our lives yeah, i hope so too thank yeah. you a sober but empowering advocacy uche seeks to empower us in the area of our relationships with our bank after the break <laughs>